now we are going to start with the enterobacteriaceae family so here we are going to learn about all the bacteria which come under the enterobacteriaceae family so first of all let's talk about the general common features which are uh, present in all the bacteria under the enterobacteriaceae family so number one point is that all of them are gram negative bacilli all of them are gram negative bacilli the number two point is that all of them are non fastidious all of them are non fastidious that means they can grow in the basal media as well the number three point is that all of them ferment glucose but all of them do not ferment glucose only some of them ferment uh, sorry only some of them uh, ferment lactose and based on the ability to lack uh, ferment the lactose they are further even classified also okay in the in, into lactose fermenters the non lactose fermenters and the late lactose fermenters so please remember that all of the bacteria in the enterobacteriaceae family can ferment glucose but all of them cannot ferment lactose okay then the fourth point is that all of them are catalase positive except the sigella dysentery serotype 1 the sigella dysentery serotype 1 cannot produce catalase so it is catalase negative and except that all other bacteria in the enterobacteriaceae family are catalase positive then fifth point is that all of them are oxidase negative all of them are oxidase negative these two points are important from identification point of view i mean these all help in the separating the enterobacteriaceae family from uh, uh, some other uh, bacterial family okay during diagnosis so this is important to remember that all the bacteria in the enterobacteriaceae family family are catalase positive except sigella dysentery serotype 1 and they are all of them are oxidase negative all of them are oxidase negative so what are the different common points the points are the they are gram negative bacilli they are non fastidious can grow on basal media also all of them can ferment glucose but all of them cannot ferment lactose then all of them are catalase positive except the sigella dysentery serotype 1 and all of them are oxidase negative so having said that all the clinical uh, i mean sorry all the common points general points of the bacteria in the enterobacteriaceae family let's now jump to the classification of the enterobacteriaceae family so the classification of the uh, different bacteria in the enterobacteriaceae family can be done on the basis of the ability to ferment the lactose so they are classified into three groups that is the lactose fermenters the non lactose fermenters and the late lactose fermenters okay so lactose fermenters are escherichia klebsiella enterobacter and the citrobacter okay these four are the lactose fermenters bacteria in the enterobacteriaceae family then the non lactose fermenters can be remembered with the mnemonic of spy that means s for salmonella and shigella they both of them go hand in hand okay so salmonella shigella go hand in hand so both of them are non lactose fermenters then p for proteus and then y for yersinia y for yersinia so these are the non lactose fermenters then late lactose fermenter is the shigella sony Sigella sony is the late lactose fermenter so this is the classification of the enterobacteriaceae family based on the ability to use the or ferment the lactose there is one more classification that is called as ewing's classification so i have not uh, included that classification here because that is required when we when you are going to give the gold medal examination in your college so they are generally not asked in vivas only if you are asking uh, if you are answering all the question very well then the examiner will go to ask the ewing classification of the enterobacteriaceae enterobacteriaceae family where the different bacteria are classified based on the tribes okay like tribe 1 tribe 2 tribe 3 tribe 4 like that okay so that is not uh, important so much important unless and until you are going for a gold medal examination okay so that's all for the classification of the enterobacteriaceae family now we'll see the general biochemical test and how are we going to remember all of them okay all of them i will tell you a trick to remember uh, the the biochemical test results of all of the uh, bacteria in the enterobacteriaceae family in fact i have told uh, told about this uh, uh, you know trick in the uh, 
culture identification part also in the general bacteriology where i have described different tastes in detail the catalase oxidase citrate urease indole all of these tastes are discussed in detail in the culture identification topic in the general bacteriology section so uh, if you haven't seen that please go and watch that lecture that will help in the uh, uh, building your concepts also uh, of the microbiology uh, i mean different taste okay so let's now come to the different taste results and how are we going to remember them so my uh, way of remembering is the remembering the kokoi score okay so if you remember the kokoi score of different bacteria then your life becomes easy how is that so so let's see kokoi score my kokoi score is c4 catalase o4 oxidase then c4 citrate u4 urease and i4 indole this is my kokoi this is the meaning of kokoi okay kokoi means c4 catalase o4 oxidase c4 citrate u4 urease and i4 indole this is my way of remembering so the kokoi score of e coli is pn3p is pn3p now what does that mean pn3p means just you have to put p and n in the different uh, tastes so first is p so p means catalase will be positive then 3n n3 means there are 3n means 3 negative so 3 negative will be oxidase negative citrate negative and urea is negative then at last also 1p that means indole will be positive so if you just remember this p and 3p the kokoi score of e coli is p and 3p that means you will remember all the test results all the test results of the catalase oxidase citrate urea and indole without any mistake okay then what is the kokoi score of klebsiella it is p n p 2 n it is the p n p 2 n now please break down that p n p 2 n so if you break down p n p 2 n it will be first p p means positive catalase test then n n means negative oxidase test then p 2 p 2 means citrate will be positive urease will be positive 2 p uh, covered then now at last there is n means indole will be negative so this is the meaning of the p n p 2 n so similarly the uh, kokoi score for proteus is the pnp2n so uh, here also if you break down you can see that first p means positive so catalase is positive then n n means negative oxidase is negative then two p's two p's means citrate will be positive and urease will be positive and at last there is n that means indole will be negative and then for salmonella shigella and yersinia the kokoi score is p n 4 for all of them p n 4 for all of them except the sigella dysentery type 1 where catalase will be negative so this is a exception here please remember this okay this is a exception here this is the exception here that sigella dysentery type 1 is catalase negative it's catalase negative but all other sigella are catalase positive so if you break down the p n 4 then first is p that means catalase is positive then all the other four are there is n4 n4 means all other i mean taste are negative so oxidase negative you citrate negative urease negative and indole negative so this makes our n4 so similar is the case for shigella and yersinia also so if you remember just this kokoi score if you remember just this kokoi score that's pn3p pnp2 and for klebsiella then pnp2 and for proteus then uh, pn4 salmonella shigella yersinia and pn3p for e coli then just by remembering this you will remember the all the test results of all the bacteria in the bacteriology so by remembering this how does uh, it how how will it help you in examination so this will help you to avoid mistakes of the writing in writing different test results plus this will also uh, you know help you in uh, uh, writing the examples of the different tests na like if you someone ask you give me example of oxidase negative bacteria then you can if you remember this then you will be able to tell them that oxidase negative is e coli if someone ask you give me example of indole positive bacteria then you will be able to uh, tell that e coli is a indole positive if you remember this pn3p okay so this is how uh, this uh, kokoi score is going to help you this is my way of remembering and i am telling all uh, all of you about this okay now coming to some extra mile so uh, everyone remembers this catalase oxidase indole citrate urease test results so uh, the examiners are now turning to some other test results also okay they are asking some new test results to uh, you know make you feel down 
so let's go one foot one step ahead of the examiners and read that uh, those tests also which are not so important at uc level but still uh, as the examiners are going one step ahead so we should go also one step ahead of them also okay so that extra mile is the imvic test that imvic test uh, stands for i for indole test m for methyl rate test and vi for vp test that is vogus cross cover test and c for citrate test so uh, we have seen the test results of the i and the c i and the c above okay i and the c has been seen above that is indole test and the citrate test results have been seen we will just see the methyl rate test and the vp test okay so what we are seeing here is that we will write everything in sequence every bacteria in sequence like e coli klebsiella salmonella cesella arsenia and then we will write m and v m and v has been written here so see here for e coli the m and v will be pn that means methyl rate is positive and vp test is negative methyl rate is positive and vp test is negative for the e coli and for klebsiella it is np means methyl rate is negative and uh, vp test is positive for klebsiella and for salmonella cesella and arsenia again it is pn that means methyl rate is positive and vi is vp test is negative so just if we separate klebsiella just if we separate klebsiella then for all of them mv mv test is pn 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 see here pn 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 all of them is pn 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 only for klebsiella only for klebsiella the m m uh, m and vp test is np Klebs for uh, klebsiella it is np the mv mv test is np for klebsiella while for uh, all other the m uh, mv test is pn 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 okay pn pn and pn only for all other bacteria of the enterobacteriaceae family so by just remember this trick also you will remember the imbic also so that you will be going one step ahead of the examiners as well so this is the basics about the enterobacteriaceae family i am uh, i have not uh, taught the even classification here so if you want to read please read it from the book and that's all for the if uh, uh, for the enterobacteriaceae i mean introduction part of the enterobacteries enterobacteriaceae family next we will be reading about different bacteria in detail like e coli cesella and all okay so that's all for the enterobacteries please remember this classification lactose fermenters and non lactose fermenters that's all for the enterobacteries